Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play and dominate on Ash AD carry. She's super strong right now. She's considered one of the best AD carries, pretty much tied with Ezreal. She shreds tanks, she shreds squishies. She has amazing team fight control with her slows. She can make great picks with her ults. Typically best in short range or medium range situations. You don't normally wanna lob your ult across the map. It gives you a lot of kill pressure in lane to just one out of 10 chance it across the map isn't the best. Looks like we have Maokai jungle, we're gonna leash for him. We have lethal tempo, presence of mind. You can go for triumphant, but presence of mind's a little better. Then we have alacrity and coup de grace with free boots and approach velocity. Approach velocity is really nice with Ash, since uh, whenever you land a slow, an auto attack which slows your W or your R, when, whenever they're move speed impaired, you get a big move speed bonus. On the first three minions, you normally auto attack and then finish it with a, your W. Got our lethal temple procked off bat since it hit the Tarek. We can all in trade with them now. We're gonna ward in the bush. Gotta watch out for those three caster minions. They hurt really bad. Three caster minions do as much damage as a champion when they're all hitting you. So you need to watch out for that. You can go in the bush to try to drop aggro. Good slow from the Jana there. Let me get our slow on top of him. We got our approach velocity, our heal speed up. We're gonna trade with her, use our potion. All right, that was actually a really good trade. That was really solid. Melee supports have to be very careful when playing against Ash. You, you slow so heavy, plus your massive movement speed bonus from slowing them on approach velocity makes you super sticky. You're gonna take your Q at level two. Your W, you normally, if you're going in for a trade, you normally auto attack then W. Unless you're trying to keep them at a distance, then you'll just W on its own. There we go. We'll go ahead and reset. If you have a weird amount of gold like this, sometimes you may want to stay for an extra wave. We kind of want to play it safe since we just used all of our sums. Since we have a weird amount of gold, we'll pick up another Doran's Blade. We're going to pick up a Long Sword and a Potion. Your best first item 9 out of 10 times on Ash is going to be rushing down Bork. At that point, if you're kind of more towards team fighting down mid lane because you've taken the enemy turret, you'd want Hurricane. If not, you could go bork into essence or you could go bork into death's dance a super opportune item gives you a lot of ad healing magic resist cooldown reduction super strong so yep yeah, after bork you pretty much go for that and of course i know this goes without saying but after bork you get your boots you don't just you never really want to have two full items on champion without having boots so get your bork then you can get your tier two boots if you have a big minion advantage we want to thin this out a little bit W is a great way to proc your lethal tempo since after you hit the enemy, it takes a second and a half to kick in. That way you can hit them with W, they keep moving towards you, and then you shred them. It's kind of like winding up a Gatling gun, you're just cranking it. Put out a W, I'm trying to thin this wave out a little bit more. The closer you are to the minions, the easier they are the last hit. I have my lethal tempo coming up here. Oh, I actually triggered it off my W, I guess, because I hit Vayne there and didn't get it. I wasn't paying attention. I should have it now though. They have a really big minion advantage with the cannon minion. There we go. Our wave's gonna start pushing towards them. We got our reinforcements first since their minions are closer to us. So our wave's gonna start to slow push towards them. That's all right. We'll fight them with the enlarged wave and make good use of it. Oh, Tarek stunned down. We can go in for a bit of a trade there. I'm gonna defend my Janna. Gonna launch my into the bush to keep vision. I'm gonna ward the bush. W. Q him. I got stunned, but I do have my approach velocity still. Yeah, you're gonna get shredded. There we go. There we go. Let's go. I'm gonna shove the wave out. Get our W down. Ooh. Nice. I'm going to hit the plate once. If you hit the plate at least once, it'll count you as basically an assist. I'll hit it once and reset. If our minions do get the plate, we'll get the gold from it. I don't want to linger because I'm not sure where their jungler is and I don't want to fight Kane. It looks like my minions are too busy attacking their minions. That's all right. The enemies are, their wave's in a really tough spot. We can afford bilge water. That's a really good item. We're going to stay a few seconds. If you have to stay on base for no longer than five seconds to get an item or a potion, it can be worth it. 
Since our minions, we dumped it into the turret after the fight. Now look, it's going to be under here. Our wave's going to get reset. And do you see how they have a minion advantage? Their wave's going to push back into this. That's called wave management. After you win a fight, preferably shove your wave into their turret and this, this will happen. Now we're going to get to free farm and we won't be very gankable for Kane. After we have our Bork completed, we'll pick up our tier 2 boots. On Ash, you can go for Merc Treads, Berserkers, or Tabbies. Uh, against their team, I'm actually going to go Tabbies. They're super AD heavy. I have my Bilge Water Cutlass here. I'm going to stay on top of the Tarek. Hmm. I'm going to activate my Potion. Oh, I really needed a shield or something there. That's all right. Kane did a lot of damage. He has three kills. I guess I was his... Uh, he already had three kills, I believe. Pretty sure Vayne killed me. That's tough. Well time ganked by the Kane. We'll pick up some attack speed. I probably should have just pulled off. I saw the little Kane shadow over the wall. I wasn't looking on the mini-map enough there. A bit of my downfall. We picked off the Tarek. Normally, you're going to be using your E's. If you feel like the enemy's in your... Your teammate's jungle or your teammate's going to get invaded. You'll launch your E from your turret all the way through your teammate's camps. If you're not worried about that, you'll normally be shoved up and launch it through the enemy's camps to figure out where they are. It goes wherever you put it on the map. It's global. It goes in a straight line. We're going to have a really big minion advantage here. We're going to shove wave. Kane still hasn't backed. We're going to launch our E up there. They can't step through here. They can't. I already have my Q proc. Tarek wasted stun. They're going to get chewed up for that. Yeah, they can't do that. <laughs> we still have an item advantage and they haven't backed yet. I don't know why Gianna did that. That's alright. We're going to fight it out. Tarek panic. He's dead. Kane still hasn't spent his gold even though he's fed. He's not that strong. Ah, oh, goodness. I'm gonna juke it out. I'm gonna put an E in the bush so we can see. Very nice, we got the kill. I'm actually gonna go ahead and stay. I have my R. I should have more items in them, anyways. And I think me and Janet can fight it since they shouldn't have their R's yet. Wanted to kind of keep my minions under their turret. Whenever you've autoed four times recently, you see these passive stacks on your Q. Then you get to activate your Q and you do a bunch of extra damage. You're slow, stronger. Kane could potentially be over here. Auto attack Q reset. Use our bilge water on her. Your Q is an auto attack resetter. So if you auto attack and then immediately press Q, you'll pump out another auto attack instantly. It's called an auto attack resetter. You can also weave in your double W in between autos to use it as an artificial auto attack resetter. Because since your W has a slight cast time, I'm going to use my E. We see Kane's top. Since your W has a slight cast time, if you auto attack and then W, by the time your W finishes, you'll have another auto attack prepared. Yeah, Ash R level 6 is a huge. Since Vayne was only level 5 when they stepped up, I knew we could fight it out. Could probably fight it out here again. We still have more items in vain. Tark can't step up. I have my Q already set. Main no condemn. My lethal tempo just procced. I do need to be careful here. I have my Q back up. Push him off wave. Kane's still top side. I just saw him recently. I'm hoping Tarek will step back up foolishly. They're about to hit level 6, so we actually need to be careful. Gonna poke Vayne down. Ash has really long auto range. You can outrange most AD carries. Only one who has more range than you. Base is Caitlyn. Tristana gets more range than you as the game continues, but uh, early game, you have more range. There's very few AD carries that get more range, but as the game continues, it's basically just Kog'Maw W active and uh, Tristana's passive gives her more and more range per level. You can uh, pinch off an auto. Vayne's only level 5. I don't know what she thinks she's going to do. If you hit them once under turret and back off, so you don't take a turret shot, you can keep activating your lethal tempo to get bonus attack speed to break the turret and also take big trades with them. I have my R here. Vayne's still not level 6. I'm going to use my E again. Try to figure out where Kane is. 
I'm gonna activate my Q right as my stacks are about to wear off. Got him. Well played. Trying to get away from her so she doesn't snare me and then kill me. Looks like Kane's top side. I don't want to fight that. I want to leave. Nico's fairly strong. She's a level up on us. It's not worth fighting it. Gonna go ahead and reset. I don't have R, and we have full item. We have lots and lots of gold. Against their team, they have AD, AD, AD. Mm, probably just go for Tabbies, honestly, or for Berserker Graves. Either one would be fine. In this game, I'll go Berserkers. I think it'll be a little bit better, and then we can just rush Death Stance. You don't have to rush Death Stance second item. If you've already taken their turret, a lot of times it's better to get Runon's Hurricane for the wave clearing for team fighting. Death Stance will help keep you alive, gets you a lot of really useful stats. If you don't want to go Death Stance, like I said, Runon's is good. You can go for Essence Reaver. Uh, if they have lots of heals, let's say they have a Soraka, you would definitely want to get an Executioner's Calling, even before you have your Bork finished. If they have something like a Soraka, you'll need that heal cut. Looks like their Kane's dead and their Midlaner's dead. We can shove up here. Use our Q on her. I don't have my R, but do you see how fast I'm moving at her? W her. Kite back. You're slowed. Ash is balanced. Balanced champion. This is why she has the highest win rate out of any AD carry right now. She's definitely balanced. <laughs> the kite is just so ridiculous. I didn't even use my Bork. I didn't have to use any summoner spells. Crazy stuff. Alright, we'll go ahead and finish off these turrets. I don't know why. I'm going to go ahead and meet Maokai. He should be able to solo it at this point. I could solo a dragon with Soraka jungle once I have full item. He's actually getting soloed by dragon. I'm on my way, buddy. We're going to help you. Going to max Q second. Who's pinging this? That's brutal. Too many pings. bad I do want the Kane's blue buff we nearly killed him the Nico snared us mm, we'll let Trindamir yeah we're not gonna let him be I'm gonna take his turret I'm gonna hit him once under turret for the lethal tempo we'll proc it chewing into him blasting turret with higher attack speed I do want their uh I want Janna to come help me on blue buff. I don't want to give this to Annie. Really hope Maokai doesn't come steal this. All right, he's not. Never mind, he's kind of trying to. <laughs> he threw it into the bush. Kited back a bit. I still have my heal. I'm going to heal Janna to speed her up. Put my slow on Vayne, even though she's invulnerable on Tarkul. I'm going to throw out my E. Got to play this smart. Got two of my Q stacks up. I need two up, two more auto attacks. There we go. One Q. Kane's coming up here. I need to be careful. I'm going to throw out a W and run away. Yeah, she's greedy. I stopped at auto attacking so I could dodge easier. Run him into turret. Hit him with Bort. It's that easy. If someone's trying to hit you with a skill shot, stop auto attacking and just move. So I just moved there and we juked it. R is best to use that short range. That way you can actually land it. You can get lucky shots here and there and it's like a cool 420 no scope or whatever. But it's oftentimes best to use it at a short or mid range to get a solid pick for your team. Think of it like a super long anti stun. Instead of a 3.5 second max range map stun that's very inaccurate proc my lethal tempo there you go hitting with the w and then kite it out they can't engage like this we have too big of a lead 
to where when they engage, they have to wait until we dive them. They can't just run at us. I'm going to shoot an E over there to give us vision. I can't see shit. I'm going to throw a W out. I can activate Q right before my stacks fall off. I can build it up really fast anyway. So now that my Q's ended, two, three, four, I have it up again. So just to try to manage your Q stacks. That way, if you can use your Q to try to shove waiver all in them, you're not just letting it fall off. That's just her clone. That's awkward. Oh, that's so lame. The Tarek stun. So for those of you who didn't understand that interaction, Tarek has a chain he puts on his teammates. And that's what allows Tarek to use his stun off of his teammates. Kane was inside of me with Kane ult. And then Tarek used his stun. So it automatically stunned me. I couldn't even dodge it since Kane was inside of me with a Tarek stun on me. It's basically like being killed from the inside out. Really unfortunate. We can go ahead and get our death dance. And then we will go for an Executioner's. I think Executioner's is the move. They have the Kane healing, Vayne healing, Tarek healing, Trindamir healing. Lots of healing. You can also get Phantom Dancer on Ash. You normally don't rush it. It's not your best item rush. You normally get it second or third item at the soonest. One nice thing about taking Presence of Mind over Triumphant is you, you have a lot more mana. If you don't take Presence of Mind, then you kind of have to go for the Essence Reaver a little bit sooner. That's Zo that's uh, not Trindamir. That's Nico, I could tell. It like shimmered there for a half a second when she went to auto. That was really weird. Hit her with my R in a second. Dodged it. Good Janna block. That Janna did what I needed her to do. Get my Q down. Very nice. As long as you survive the enemy's initial CC, you're good to go. So right as they're running at you, you can hit them with the W and run, but don't just stand there and auto. That's gonna let them hit you with their CC easier. Once Kane is W, his knockup was on a cooldown, that's when I started ripping into him with auto attacks. Yeah, I can't get up can't get them off of me. The Trinimir R and the Kane sitting inside. That's unfortunate. At this point, yeah, we'll just go for the executioners. I need to play more around my team. Me and Janna can't 2v2 like you saw there. We just can't kill them. We're really good at team fights, solid against their squishies. Against these bruisers, we're gonna have issues. Gonna go ahead and sell one of these bad boys, and we're gonna build into uh, Essence Reaver Infinity Edge here. I think we're gonna go for Infinity Edge just for the damage. We could go Phantom Dancer to also stay alive. That would synergize with the Death's Dance. As long as I fight with my tanks, we should be fine. Didn't get my E down. It's always good to hold on to one charge of your E just in case you think they may be on Baron or Dragon. You can throw your E over there to get vision. I see you, Kane. I have Sauron. Alright, let's form up with the team. We need at least two people with us. I need to get away from them. Oh my god. It happened again. <laughs> we just can't move. Oh my goodness. We need our tanks. I'm going to just have to be patient. This is the big crux of AD carry, guys. Even if you're ridiculously fed, I have about as many kills as their entire team. The issue is, 
is you're still squishy enough to where if they focus you, you die. So you need people in front of you to fight for you. To kind of be your shield. You're basically the sword, but you still need a shield. For, uh, for, it was basically just me, Annie, and Janna there. Garen's just split pushing. I'll just AFK power farm until we start to group. That's kind of what's happening. Is Garen's just AFK split push while we're having to deal with Trindamir. And uh, even though Trindamir's not fed, his R makes him, gives him five seconds of not being able to kill him. Putting us in a bit of a spot. I think if we take Maokai's camps, it'll kind of force him to group. So we'll go ahead and take these down. But we do need to stop dying. We've burnt through all of our shutdown gold. And it's letting the enemies back into the game. We're going to try to stay out of their vision, not attract too much attention. Hit him with the W, then hit him with the R. If you hit him with W first, it's easier to land the R because they're slowed. They're finally out of position. That's the power of the Ash picks. Garen bites the dust. We might have to help this Annie. I think uh, Kane's going to go for it. I can't see him. I don't know where he is. I have no clue where he went. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. We just need these tanks. Good pill from the Janna. Shoot him over the wall for wards. A flash on her. That's a quadra, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this in. We soaked quite a bit of CC there. Getting QSS against their team might have been good. We're getting hit by a lot of Zoe CC. Her big stun and her snare and the Tarek stun on the vein tumble. It's pretty rough. I don't think we can end. Kane and uh, Trindamir are gonna be here. We literally can't end fast enough. If they choose to come out of their base. Got him. GG guys, that's how you play Ash 80 carry. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we stream five days a week on Twitch, so go ahead and check it out. My name is Kingsix. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.